In this episode, we're going to try and make eggnog. And by try, I mean we've never done it before. <laughs> and yeah. so the measurements are going to be, uh, we'll see. We'll yeah. figure them out as Two we taste. go. Yeah. Now, we have made a ice cream base, which is essentially a thick custard. We've also made a chocolate milk thickened with egg. So we're slowly getting a repertoire as the people who use an espresso machine to cook <laughs> eggs. What's wrong with that? Yeah. So today, two recipes. We're going to make a, a boozy eggnog, and then we're also going to make a coffee eggnog, which yeah. is just a variation on that. All right, so let's get started. With the egg base, the egg ice cream base, we use 250 mils of cream, 250 mils of milk, and two eggs. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing less than that this time. I'd like it to be a little um, thicker, mm -hmm. but I'm also, I'm just not making nearly as much because that's two liters Too much, of, yeah. of ice cream. So we're gonna try one egg, essentially halving the recipe, okay? And we're gonna drop the liquids down to, I think we're gonna try 150 mils of milk. And okay. the reason is, is that we're not gonna cook it as thoroughly as we did the ice cream base. And also we're adding caramel, which is gonna also thin it out. We're gonna add some booze, which is also gonna thin it out. So I don't mind putting less milk in because so much other stuff is coming in afterwards. Uh, after all, we can always add more milk if yeah. we're wrong. So, all right, let's get me an egg, please. There you go. And I am using a whole egg. Mm. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> and I use a little rag here to clean my hand. And I'll need milk next. Yep. There you go. And we're going to do 150 mils of milk. Okay, so there's our yeah. caramel sauce. This is a salted caramel that we made in another episode. Mm. And so we had uh, 500 grams of an ice cream base and we added 300 grams of this that was fantastic but we decided it tasted best as a drinking drink yeah with 200 mm. okay so halving that again would be a hundred would be a 250 but we're down more on 150 so um, I think we're gonna go down to something like 70 okay right so and instead, of two, taste. instead of 200 half of that would be a hundred and yeah. we're doing a little less than that because we have a little bit less mm. drink so we're gonna do 70 we have teared. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We're at almost more. at seven, 79. That's fine. All right. Slightly over. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to blend this so that then we can heat it. And that's basically our custard before we flavor it. And since this isn't that much liquid, so that is the eggnog base, and it's that color because of a mix of caramel and egg. Right. Next, I'm gonna use a thermometer, and I'm gonna set this to, let's say 80. Yeah, 80 Celsius, 80 Celsius, because I would like to get the egg to be cooked a bit. Um, also, I have no flavor ingredients at this point, mm. which would be adulterated by heat. Mm. All right, and I do have a fairly good quantity in there so I think I can get away with not having this is basically good for one drink like this will be plenty for the two of us oh, really? it's gonna be pretty rich okay. Okay. So there we are turning that's good. Now let's see if you can see it better that way you can And the flow rate doesn't matter right now? Uh, I think the flow rate's pretty violent because I'm not that worried about making foam. This is going to foam on its own just from the steam. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that it's getting quite thick. Yeah. And there we are at 80. And I'm going to just slide this out this way. Let the steam on purge. And then remember to give it a clean. Thinning it right away yeah, it makes means it won't easy. dry on it. So I'm not going to serve as much because I would like to have a bit left. Yeah, for the boozy. For the boozy and the coffee. Mm -hmm. There you go. It is steamy, we have lots of foam. Yeah. I and mean, obviously we've got caramel and egg smell. Oh, lovely. 
That is really delicious. It's um, it's like drinking like a toffee kind of. Yeah, like a toffee. Yeah. Like a toffee. So I would say if you're going to do it booze free, like we have, you should add cinnamon or clove so yeah. to this. Cinnamon or clove, exactly. That would basically make it a classic eggnog that would without be a classic the booze. Eggnog. Yes. However, yeah. our plan was mm -hmm. to add a spiced rum because the spiced rum will typically have things like cinnamon and clove or vanilla. Can we do fireball? I like fireball. We could do fireball. We'll have yeah. to do that some other time. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Add a little bit of heat could be interesting. Mm -hmm. So could you grab mm. the Filipino rum, which is a spiced rum. It is strong on vanilla and oak. It should work really well with this. Yeah, we should probably top it up slightly. Yeah. And once and again, pay attention to their weight. And once again, I'm going to go for the 10%. So that's yeah. about um, 50 mils. I think it's 40 mils is what it is. And what we did is we did four grams. There we go. That's five grams there. I'll give it a little bit of a stir. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit to yours in a second. Sure. Thank you. So you do have to stir it because this is yeah. not going to mix in. No, it wouldn't. I'm cheating you here. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 3.6. I'll give you a little bit of eggnog. Yes, please. And you'll want to give that a stir as well. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty boozy, actually. All right, and here we go. Yeah, I mean, I think eggnog should put you to sleep, so. <laughs> oh my God, that's good. Oh yeah. That, that's. We're shooting on this. That is such a winner. December. That is actually better than the chocolate one. Oh yeah. Because yeah. now the, the, the rum is just coming really mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. And um, there. And it's also like that little burn mm -hmm. of alcohol that doesn't really, it's just like it's warm. It's warming. Yeah, that's it, right. it doesn't burn, it actually, yeah, it makes you feel warm. So there is an alcohol called avocats out there, which is a, mm -hmm. a custard, except it's pasteurized and it's in, you know, it's shelf stable and it's nasty. This is, I think, what they were thinking of: <laughs> was alcohol and fresh eggnog. This is awesome. So good. All right, let's now try and mix this with a little bit of coffee. Now I don't know how much either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shot of espresso that we already made. Yeah. And I'm going to add coffee to it. Now, okay. I also think we're going to taste it with just coffee, but I'm probably going to booze it up again. So those of you who are following up on the Decent Espresso drinking game, you should be on your third <laughs> uh, slug now. Uh, just like us. Yes. <laughs> mm. The thing is, it really holds its thickness. Yeah. So that was one egg, 150 mils of milk, and then I, um, and we had 75, actually about 80 of a salt caramel, blended that, and then we added booze, but you could have at that point just added clove, or actually you could have put clove or cinnamon powder in before you heat it. That would yeah. be a good idea to do it then. What I'm really impressed with is two things, the consistency of it, mm. and also that it doesn't disintegrate. Like everything blends in so well. And it's such a simple, like I've always thought making something like this, you just yeah. need like a crazy kitchen and I know people buy it in the grocery store because they think it's really difficult. Yeah. Um, but espresso machine steam wand. <laughs> Possibly more useful than the espresso machine itself. Yeah, actually. <laughs> so here right, yeah. we have Paul's espresso that he's made here is a technique from our espresso in the 80s video where he's making espresso from a medium dark to dark roast bean starting at 80 coming down to 72 celsius and it's quite cut quite short it's it's not a long pull but it ends up being really just um big in flavor it doesn't have that kind of mono flavor that a dark roast has and i'm looking forward to it mixed in with things because i really don't like dark roast co coffee in ice cream I just think it's nasty because it's this single mono flavor and, and it doesn't, it just isn't interesting. Mm -hmm. Whereas light roast coffee and ice cream is big and interesting. And of course, chocolate, if you get the right stuff, is big and interesting. Mm -hmm. So uh, kudos to Paul for making us an interesting bean. Let's see how it holds up here. So this right. is 20, is what you said, 25. So let's just start with one to one. So I'm going to put 25 in here. Okay, and boy, does that not look promising. <laughs> actually, what it really looks like here, yeah. and it, it's actually nothing wrong, this is a cousin to the affogato. It's just 
recognize mm. that vanilla ice cream frozen in an espresso shot is one of the world's best things. Mm. And so this is just a warm version of that. So that's what we're looking at. Here we go. That doesn't look bad. You know, no, it doesn't. This might just taste like the end of an avocado. Like when you run yeah, out of ice cream. Like when it's melted a bit and yeah. it's blended together. Yeah. Um, now the thing here is this isn't going to be all that warm. I mean, the shot has been sitting for a bit as well. Yes. Dope your glasses. Sold on our <laughs> website. Spoon, not sold on our website. <laughs> not sold on our website. But as seen on TV. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to do that. <laughs> Now I think my problem with this is that it's just not going to be warm, mm. and I really want egg right. to be warm. It's too much like espresso yeah. for me. The coffee is too strong. Yeah, way too strong. I think you need to add more of the eggnog. All right, I'm going to do 20 because I did steal some coffee out. <laughs> so I think that that's still nowhere near enough. No, I mean, that's basically an espresso shot still. Yes, so let's go to 40. And you see as it's cooling, it's actually getting thicker. Mm. All right, yeah. we've gone to 50. And so that's basically what, three to one now? Um, yes, that is what okay. it is. All right. There's a different color. Yeah. I think we're still gonna be too strong. Let's see. I think one espresso is giving us a lot more flavor than we expected. Mm. That's pretty good. Mm. So much better. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's where we want it to be. Yeah. I am going to add some Disaruno because I think this mm. is just giving me this wide chocolatey flavor yeah. from the coffee and then the egg custard flavor. So mm. if you could get me the Disaruno, that's great. There you go. Um, so we think we're at about mm, 80 now. Yeah. Total. I'm going to go with that 10% rule. So I'm just going to add eight mils of alcohol to this. Uh, or 12. Uh, <laughs> Glug. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, well I glugged in 12. Uh oh. Alright. Wow. The, the thickness is beautiful on that. Oh yeah, it's also... It looks more consistent again. Yes. Alright. Let's give that a taste. So this is with 13% hmm, or so Disaruno. I drink that all day. Nice, nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you nailed this one. Yeah, so uh, what we did is we took an espresso and then we added three times that much of wow. the eggnog mm. mix that we made. And then we added roughly 10% of Disaruno Amaretto almond flavor. And then we've got something that is a really beautiful coffee, eggnog, boozy, delight. Uh, four shots. <laughs> four shots. <laughs> um, All right. Thank you for drinking along with us. Uh, give this a try. Let us know how you get on. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.